proceed. Good evening, everyone. It is currently Tuesday, October the 9th at 7.03 p.m. And we are prepared to start the general session for the town of Colmore Manor. Is there a motion for us to open up the meeting? Yes, I'll make that motion as stated. Is there a second? I'll second. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay. Uh, first order of business will be the Pledge of Allegiance and the moment of silence. I pledge, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay. And before we have this moment of silence, we lost two residents um, in the last week, Mr. McLean and also um, Ms. Williams from the Williams family. And um, besides them, let's have a moment of silence for all those who are shot in, pained, in the military, any issues or problems. So let's just have that moment of silence and think for them, think about them. Okay, so now we also want to have a moment of silence to rejoice in the things that are good. Yesterday we had a wonderful celebration for Chris McLean, brought back lots of people here from Como Manor for years and brought them all together to actually see each other and celebrate Chris's life, as well as I'm sure the Williams family did today. So let's also think about the things that we're grateful for and all the wonderful things that we have in our life. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the next item on the agenda is actually to report on the work session. Um, so we had a work session last Tuesday, October the 2nd. Um, one of the items on the work session was we met with Jeff Stern from the 21st Century Group um, with a proposal to provide LED lighting through town um, without immediate cost, but with a percentage of the um, savings are going forward. Um, Mr. Baden will meet further with them and further discuss the potential of what that may be for the town, how well that could be for us, what's the possibility of us actually um, getting, making progress from that. We talked about, um, we, we actually had the introduction of Calvin Richardson, which is our new code enforcement officer with the town of Como, um, Cottage City, as well as Como Manor. And so the council was able to meet him we will next month have him come in. Um, we'll be sending out a message because we would like for the community to come up to meet with him and we'll have a meet and greet in our November um, general session. So be prepared so that you can meet and greet him. I think that he's a great guy um, and that we've made a really good decision. And we're excited about moving forward with having code. Um, as you may know, we have been working with Inspire Green in order to design a green street on Newark Road. Um, they have given us their final report. Um, we have submitted it for our final grant to be paid, and we paid them in their final um, items. And that was by a grant that we had that done. Um, we had a conversation about some street repairs that are needed on Kearney Road, and so um, Mr. Um, um, my goodness. Public Works is looking Public into Works. it. <laughs> Public Works is, is looking into it to see how many and other repairs that we might need through town um, of the sidewalks. Um, we had a conversation about community engagement with SunTrust Bank. SunTrust Bank is our bank, and Councilmember Jackson um, has been investigating how we may be able to get some funds from them to help us out with different activities. They do have a community engagement fund, uh, but we have to um, proactively go after it. It doesn't just come to you. There was also a question about us not having a veterans park. Most towns do have a veterans park, um, and we had a little discussion about it. We don't have a veterans park, but we have an American Legion. So we do have a site that's specifically um, focused on veterans, so if anybody has that question, um, we do have that opportunity here. We talked about updates on the bike racks. We had voted to get three sets of bike racks to put across town. And so um, we made the decision to move forward um, on getting those bike racks. We had already voted on it, so we didn't have to do a vote. 
Um, we had a conversation about plant purchases. We have a bioretention garden here at the parking lot um, in town um, over here. And that is a bioretention garden which has some requirements by the county that we have a certain set of plants in there um, so that we can, um, it, we're in compliance with what we agreed to with the county. And so we voted to make that purchase, the purchase of the plant so we can move that project forward. Um, we discussed the MEA re um, resolution. This resolution is related to a grant for weatherization around the community where you can have them come in and do an audit on your house, an energy audit on your house, make some, uh, let you know some recommendations on things that can be improved, and then there's certain funds available for certain changes. Um, then we talked about the parking permit ordinance. Um, we spoke to, um, we decided to move on that forward. We spoke to Mr. Barr on the phone. Um, to go over what was the status of that and decided that we would be bringing it forward today. Um, and then we talked about donating chairs. We've got brand new chairs here at the town hall now and um, we have decided that the chairs, the old chairs, are going to be available to the community. So if someone's interested in coming up um, to see the old chairs and see if there's something that they're interested in having. We are opening up, up to the community and so just give us a call, let you know you're coming so that the staff will be prepared to go ahead and show you the chairs and so forth. And um, then we had an executive session um, for personnel matters that was held after the meeting. And that was it. So that was the work session. Okay. So, um, the next item on the agenda is the treasurer's report. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, there's copies of the treasurer's report on the table. Or if you uh, are listening at home, you want to pick one up during the week, just come up to the town offices and we'll make those available. Uh, this is a report for the first three months of the current fiscal year, which begins July 1st and goes through September 30th. Uh, for this period, we had revenues of $141,062. Uh, major items making up this amount are real estate taxes of $46,896, personal property tax revenue of $17,794, uh, first quarter police uh, aid or police state aid for police grant of $5,801, rental income for rental of the facilities $14,324. Red light camera violations of 19,417, uh, police revenue of 1,830, and then there's a few other uh, revenue accounts in there um, that make up the total of 141,062. Uh, for expenditures, we had total expenditures of $299,102. Uh, for the three months. So you can see that's quite a bit more than the 141,000 that we're bringing in for three months, but that's normal for this time of year and the beginning of the fiscal year, which are the slower revenue months. Uh, we will get our larger real, real estate tax payment in uh, on October the 10th. So I, that, that's tomorrow. Uh, so we'll collect a large portion of the real estate property taxes at that time. Broken down by department, expenditures include general government of 63,651 for general government operating expenditures, 22,234 for payroll taxes and benefits. Senior van expenditures totaled 8,624. Code enforcement, 1,315. Uh, the majority of this is the implementation of the parking permit program at the town. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, public Works, 57,312. Uh, community Center uh, Town Hall Maintenance, 55,640. Public Safety, 69,823. Uh, Police Chief Operating Expense of 1,830. Community Center Operations of 17,595. And the total of those will be to the 299,102, uh, which is the total for the three months. That's a, a quick overview of the report and ask you to accept it as presented. Thank you, Mr. Payton. Um, is there a motion for us to accept the treasurer's report? 
I'll, I'll make that motion as stated. Is there a second? <coughs> I'll second it. Uh, any discussion? Um, it's just, is it getting smaller or do I need glasses? I know, right? <laughs> I almost had to go back and I <laughs> almost all. excused myself to go get my glasses. But. No, no discussion. <laughs> <laughs> Saving paper. Not okay. only, not only that, that's a good thing. Mr. Baton is actually using the QuickBooks program and actually produced the reports rather than taking the information from QuickBooks and then putting it in a spreadsheet and then presenting the report. So um, I appreciate that being done. We, we, could, yeah, we could work on getting it a little larger too. We might be able to put yeah. it on a, um, a landscape. Yeah. And that <laughs> might make it a little bit bigger. Yes. No, it's, um, it's good. It's very easy to read. Mm -hmm. um, it just was like, in terms Whoa. of the way, yeah, the format, yes. Yeah. It's yeah. clear. <laughs> so, um, any other discussion? I'll call for a vote. Ward 1? Aye. Ward 2? Aye. Ward 3? Aye. Ward 4? Aye. And the mayor votes aye. Thank you very much, Mr. Baker. Welcome. Okay, next item on, on the agenda is the police report. Um, Chief Lowry? <laughs> Uh, good afternoon, folks. Good evening. Uh, just a couple things here on the, uh, the police report. I won't go through all the, uh, the incidents, but I, I just want the public to understand when, when we put these police calls for service, that, that's what that means. It's just how the call originated. So if, if you look, um, uh, take for instance, hit and run, there, it says there were three hit and run calls. Uh, there were no injuries involved in those. There was actually only one that's verified, but, but what we're doing is, is we're actually listing the times that we go at the number of calls that the officer get. You'll see one call says sound of shots. Well, that, that was not verified. We found out that the folks were actually uh, shooting off fireworks. So um, I, I do want to, again, I, and I know I do this every, every month almost, but I just, it's up, the citizens are our most important eyes. So the theft from autos, fortunately, we only had two, two is too many, but We've only had two uh, in the entire month. One was in the 3800 block of Newton Street. The other one was the 3500 block of 38th Avenue. It's the most prevalent crime in, in Prince George's County, so we really encourage our folks, again, to lock their doors and to hide their valuables if they're keeping them in there. Um, just a couple of incidents that occurred. Uh, you can see there was a break-in in the 4300 block of Newark Road. Uh, that individual uh, was apprehended on October the 7th trying to break into a residence on 42nd Avenue. We've now connected him back to that, that break-in that occurred in the 4300 block on Newark Road. Oh, okay. so, so we've got an arrest on, on both of those issues. Uh, th there was the only two. We only had actually one break-in for the entire month. Um, you'll see some of the departmental issues. Um, we, we try to put our officers, at a, hopefully at a no cost, do as much training as we can. So you can see Sergeant Sims attended some training. Uh, regarding the new laws in the state of Maryland that went into effect uh, October the 1. Uh, her and Officer Perez attended some training on intimate partner uh, sex violence and, and rape, which is an extremely uh, important um, venue for them to go to. The mayor and I attended a, a, a meeting on September the 13th at Cottage City regarding the safety issues dealing with the CSX trains, and, and we're going to be involved in a follow-up meeting with that. And there was a multitude of stakeholders involved in that. Uh, the mayor talked about uh, briefly about Mr. Calvin Richardson who was hired as the new code enforcement officer. Um, today he just completed a five-day training program that we were able to get him through for free uh, through the Prince George's County DPIA Department of Permits, Inspections and Enforcement. So I, I'm meeting with him tomorrow uh, to develop a case management system. It looks like we thought that would be a very expensive venture, but I think we're going to be able to do it at a no cost. So I'm meeting with him uh, tomorrow to develop that. Uh, but I think, as the mayor said, the most important thing you'll see with this code enforcement officer in this program is the community outreach. So we're going to be holding uh, community meetings, educating not only the folks in Colmar Manor, but in Cottage City also, since he worked for both towns. Uh, as far as what the codes are, uh, what the expectations are, and then we'll go through a, a warning process. But, but there'll be a, a structured way of how these, these issues are going to be brought before the public. But, I'm very uh, enthused with this gentleman. I think he's going to be a great hire for, for both towns. Um, other than that, the, the calls for service, uh, again, they kind of remained about the same, the same number. But to me, the most important things are we had, we have, we've got a, a low rate of crimes against persons and a low rate uh, of crimes against properties in the, in the, in the town. Um, last thing is, I think the, uh, I, I briefed the mayor and the, and the council um, last week. Um, 
I, when I came here, I, I always said I would try to balance the job uh, and my service to the Lord and my family. Uh, and I've kind of got those off balance just a little bit. Um, but my wife's health, uh, it, it, without getting into a whole bunch of things, is really digressing. And so I, I've, I've had to make the decision uh, that I'm going to have to leave law enforcement and, and spend uh, the time with my family and my wife. So I, I submit a, a letter of resignation to the mayor and the council and also to the commission uh, in Cottage City. My last day will be October 30 uh, of this year. So I, I just want to thank everybody here, the mayor and the council, Mr. Baden, Mr. Barr, the, the community, how they've just um, really accepted me with open arms. I, I love this, both these towns. I, I, I really, really mean that. Uh, and I'll stay in touch. I'll have the same cell number. Uh, I'm not going to change that same se that cell number. I've had it for, for years. But I'll stay in touch with whatever the decision is uh, that the mayor and council and, and the commission um, come to about the, the new police chief. Um, I'll, I'll help that transition, and I'll always be available. But uh, I just want the folks that, that are listening, the folks that are on TV, the folks that are here, uh, I, I love you guys. And, and I've, I've thoroughly enjoyed these last 22 months, but I've got to do... Uh, what I think is best for my family, and, and, and that means stepping away from, from work. So thank you, Mayor, Council, Mr. Baden, Mr. Barr. Really, I sincerely appreciate it. All right. Thank, thank, you, thank you so much, Chief. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Chief. Um, yeah. Is there a motion to accept the Chief's report? Um, I'll make that motion as stated. Is there a second? I'll second. Discussion? Um, yes. Um, Chief, is there any way you think that we, um, the Mayor and Council, can, we used to get morning briefings of things that happened in the past um, in the neighborhood so we'll know, um, and I say that because um, on your police report here, um, I see there was two break-in entries, and, and I'm very connected to a lot of residents in town, and I didn't know this until I was here, and then my resident telling me about it. Yes, ma'am. So we can be aware. Yeah, I, I we used I, to get morning briefings, so we'll know. Cause I, cause once if something happens like this, what I do is try to tell people on my block, you know, be careful, be mindful. Right. This is <coughs> what happened. Yes, ma'am. I'm not opposed to that at all. We'll reinstitute that then. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, I um, I want to say that we are highly appreciative of the chief, Absolutely. the time that he's been able to give us. He's been very generous. Um, to working with us in, in the challenges of the small towns and two towns and has done an excellent job. Um, we completely, and I feel I can even speak for the council here, totally understand what he needs to do in taking care of his family. And um, would hope somebody would think that as well for me if that was the case. Thank you, so we definitely um, appreciate that. Um, I wanna add that um, we have already been in conversation with Cottage City. We feel that there are some opportunities that we will have so that we do not have to have a major lag in time um, in between looking for another chief. And so we're hoping that we'll pull something together that um, we can have a, 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 a simple transition um, as we determine what is our full future forward and um, the chief has agreed to work with us in um, this process yes, and being available as we go through this to um, see how we really need to go forward but we really are expecting to have some coverage um, for it hopefully that's what happen. so we'll know soon and um, let people know well how we might be moving forward i would call um yes go ahead Mayor, may I make a comment? certainly thank you chief I just want to say that in the time you have been here, I have come to deeply respect your competence, mm -hmm. your professionalism, your passion for public safety, and your manner of doing everything as a gentleman. It has been a pleasure and honor to serve this town with you. Thank you, Mr. Barr. Appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Barr. Appreciate that. Um, call, any other comments? I'll call for a vote. Ward 1? Aye. Ward 2? Aye. Ward 3? Aye. Ward 4? Aye. And the mayor votes aye. Um, before we go on to the next line item, I do want to say that since the last meeting, we have had a couple of wonderful events.
Homer Manor Day was a great success. We're so excited with the new exercise equipment and the new playground equipment down at the um, Newton Street Park. If you haven't been down there, go down there, but it was a really nice event and I feel like everybody enjoyed themselves very well. Um, and also last weekend we have Port Towns Day. And even though Port Towns Day had to be uh, postponed twice, we still had a great showing, um, wonderful music and bands, and again, feel like the community came together and really had a good time um, um, being with each other. And I will, two other things I just want to add, um, well, there's three, but Councilmember myself, um, Mayor Pro Trent Jackson, and Councilmember Mendoza for the rest of this week will be at the MML convention. This is the legislative session of the MML, so this is when legislation about municipalities is put forward um, to um, move forward things that will help be helpful to municipalities in the state. In addition, we have our own Port Towns Legislative Dinner, which is scheduled for November the 18th, where we present to our, de our delegations in our county and other elected officials priorities very specific to the Port Towns. So, in those priorities, we are looking at issues, as the chief mentioned, about the CSX Railroad, um, also about the dredging of the river, um, also um, related to um, some legislation about, hard to say, but it's about small cells, and, um, and then land banking, and um, the potential of a marked train station um, in Cottage City. So right now, those are our priorities, and I did want to mention that. Lastly, I want to thank everybody who's been following up with the parking permit program. Um, um, almost everyone here is trained in order to help you get your permit. Just to remind you, having your address say Como Manor is really not just about us knowing you live in Como Manor. It's about whether or not we may be properly getting um, funding um, that should come to us from motor vehicles. And so, um, the reason for that change is that is the main, well, that plus, uh, that's the main reason for making sure it says Comer Manor. But secondarily, we expect it'll be sometime around January when we'll actually be start to put the restriction signs up so that you'll have an idea of when the parking, um, um, when the restrictions will actually start. But I want to thank everybody. We had a, we've had a nice flow of people coming in and we're continuing to move that process forward. Okay, next item on the agenda is the approval of the minutes. So, I think that we should go through, I think we need to go through them one at a time, unfortunately. But hopefully it'll be quick, um, because I have some comments on some of them, and um, you guys may as well, um, if you had an opportunity. We've had them for a little a few days now, so um, we can hold off or not hold off, but let's, do one on one. So the first one is January second, two thousand and eighteen, um, work session. Um, is there a motion? I'll make that motion to approve January the second, two thousand eighteen, work session. Is there a second? Second. Okay. Discussion. Okay. I'll call for a vote. Or one. Aye. Or two. Aye. Or three. Aye. Or four. Aye. And the mayor votes aye. Okay, moving to January 9th. Is there a motion for us to approve January 9th? I'll make a motion to approve January 9th, 2018, general session. A second? I'll second. Discussion? Okay, so I have a point to make on this. Um, there was so much to read in it that it was hard for me to actually get to the points that were the main points of it. I would really prefer for it to be trimmed down to actually be Minutes. The minutes of the vote and discussions um, because we have reports and people can also go on to YouTube to actually see if they want to hear some more of the council or the mayor's report, which is in general just what's happening around town, mm -hmm. but not specific to what's in minutes. Um, can we get a um, amendment to the motion um, that this is approved by or um, approved pending some adjustments but you want all that other stuff cut out and you just want the motions 
mainly. Most and of discussions. the discussions and the, and, and, the rest, and references the, to the reports. Right. You, right. So, so you want them, you want the minutes, this particular minutes to be revised and only state things that we have approved on or had to vote on to go inside the minutes? Yes, it yeah, is. So that means that the January 9, 2018 minutes will come back to us? We can, um, if, if we're in we agreement, can you can reduce, the well, one. you can reduce your, well, they're different, so they change. I don't have this comment on the rest of okay. them, okay? So this one um, is the main Nothing. one. We could, whoever made the motion can um, reverse their motion and then it will automatically correct. come back. Okay. So you made the motion. Right. So, so you want to so, um, amend that um, motion or reverse, re reverse your motion. motion. Okay. And, have it. and the second okay. is accepts that. Is that okay? Yeah, that's okay. Okay, so we're going to bring January 9th back mm -hmm. um, to the next with general corrections. session with corrections. Mm -hmm. Okay, February 13th. You said co with corrections or are we just taking out stuff? Taking I mean, out stuff. Well, not exactly, I'm right. Fine. I guess, I guess I'm confused because January 9th minutes is very more detailed. It's mm -hmm. too much, I mean, for me to grasp myself. So I do understand you, Mayor. And if somebody wants to pick it up and read it, they want to get to the points and things that we have truly made a decision on. They don't want to know about, All the uh, you know, <laughs> you know, well, they got a cold or something. You know, I mean, so I understand exactly what you're saying. But so now we have to go back and have the staff. Pull out, pull out, pull out, pull out the pertinent okay. information that's relevant to town decisions. Okay. Okay. okay so we can go to February thirteenth. Um, is there a motion to accept the minutes for February thirteenth? I'll make that motion to accept the minutes for February thirteenth, two thousand eighteen, town meeting. Is there a second? I'll second. Any discussion? No. Um, okay, so there is um, just a revision that needs to be made on this one. Um, this was Jan. What is this? February thirteenth. February thirteenth. I can't read my scratch, but uh, um, MML. Something about MML. Also, oh, you say about MML. MMA. Oh, MMA. And a vote on something. Uh, I wish I wrote what it means. Um, you talking about the MML convention where all the employees of the council attend and employees will take the courses? Does, you talking about that paragraph? No, I mean, this one's long too, so this one's hard to. Um, okay, you're talking about uh, the discussion surrounding the MML attendees at the year's, uh, this year's conference? No, it's something about me being the secretary to MMA. Uh, so I just avoid it. So MMA. Yeah. I didn't see that. Oh, okay, this is what it is, because I don't want this to be confusing. It's under the mayor's report. It says the mayor is also the secretary of the Maryland Mayor's Association and the second vice president of the organization, which can't happen <laughs> or wouldn't normally happen. It's, it's, so to correct it, um, I was this, at this time in February the secretary of the Maryland Mayor's Association, and I have been put on nomination to be the second vice president of the organization. Okay. Okay, can we make can a motion that with that amendment? Correction. Yes. Okay, I'll make that motion with that amendment stating that. Um, Lou, you second? Uh-huh. And um, I don't know, this one might have to come up with it. Is this a part of? Ward reports, unfinished business. Okay, so there's these unfinished business, CBT grant, there's, uh, there's discussion as if there was an approval, but um, I don't see votes. Oh, you just see money. 
You, right here. Transfer of funds of 40th Avenue. Uh, um, I don't know, this might have to come back to because I can't There's tell whether these are votes that. from the town meeting or was this discussion about the work session, but there's a section that is the report from the work session. So, you can Okay, well, I will. So things like this right here, since the city received community legacy amount of 20,000 install permit papers, um, a proposal from blah, 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 has been uh, to install them. This is under new business, it, but well, that's discussion. And then they made the motion after that in the next paragraph. This is the motion for that particular item. For, for this item, yes. I see. Okay. So this is the motion for Just this like item. Just like the security camera, that's the discussion, and then the motion. Okay. All right. I'm paragraph. understanding better now. Um, and the CBT transfer was the discussion, and then the transfer and the motions. Okay. Made by the right. Okay, so other than that, that, just to change the minor change that I had, this, I'm okay with this one. Okay. Okay, I'll uh, call for a vote. Ward 1. Aye. Ward 2. Aye. Ward 3. Aye. Ward 4. Aye. And the mayor votes on. Okay, March 6th. Um, uh, is there a motion? I'll make this motion to approve the work session for um, March 6th, 2018. Okay, a second? I'll second. I'll call for a vote. I mean, I'm sorry, um, any discussion? No. Okay, so I have a minor change, um, just really minor. Um, there's something about Main Street in here. Um, and without- Main Street, Mayor gave a brief, yeah, you just said Mayor gave a briefing. Oh, it's at the top here, Main Street update. That doesn't mean anything to anybody. Right. Um, because nobody knows what does that mean, Main Street update. So you want to take that out? No, what no. it should say is Merlin Municipal League Main Street update. update. Mm -hmm. Because otherwise it sounds like Blainsburg Road. Mm -hmm. And if it was me, I would ask the question, what are y'all doing on Blainsburg Road? Mm -hmm. So that's the only change I would. Making that. Yes. Okay, I'll amend my motion. I'll amend my motion to add MML Main Street update. The seconder. I'll second. No, she's no second. Oh. It was Bowden made the motion. Oh. Bowden made the motion. Or seconded the motion. Oh, Bowden seconded, seconded the motion. Okay. okay. Bowden. You seconded. She did. Oh, she oh, did. Okay. I'm sorry. She did. Okay. I'll have a call for a vote. Ward one. Aye. Ward two. Aye. Ward three. Aye. Ward four. Aye. And the mayor votes aye. Okay, so the next one we have here, um, is this April 3rd? April 3rd, uh-huh. Yeah. <coughs> I don't see you have April 3rd in my package here. You guys have April 3rd? I do. Yes. I'll make that motion to approve April 3rd work session minutes, okay. 2018. Okay, is there a second? I second that motion is stated. Okay, I'll call. Um, is there any discussion? No. Call for a vote. Ward one. Aye. Ward two. Aye. Ward three. Aye. Ward four. Aye. And the mayor votes aye. Okay, April the 24th. Is there a motion? I make a motion to approve April the 24th, 2018, special general session. Okay. A second. Okay. Um, Okay, so I believe um, mm -hmm. this discussion. Mm -hmm. So it says Mosquito um, a Review of Ordinance 03215. I mm -hmm. actually think we took a vote that day after the Mosquito survey came in and we took the vote in we order did. to we take did. that pesticide out mm -hmm. that day. Mm -hmm. It wasn't just a review of the ordinance, we voted. Mm -hmm. So. I would suggest we pull this back and come back with it, just that line item because we need to get that verified. Mm -hmm. Unless if someone has a real clear memory that we did not. No, I agree with you. We did take a vote um, on this because um, the way the survey came back. So I will uh, reverse. Oh, I didn't make that move. <laughs> Who made no, the motion? No, I made that motion, so I'm the one to oh. I know, I thought yeah. I did. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> So uh, I make the uh, I amend the motion to 
uh, have her redo it, this one and with the change stated. Okay. And Jackson? Yes, I agree. Okay. I also. Call for a vote with one. Aye. Or two. Aye. Or three. Aye. Board four. Aye. I don't think you needed the vote there because they both withdrew the oh, they, oh, they, so. oh, we're going to bring that one back. Okay. Right. So, yeah. Okay. So we didn't. Okay. So Can I have you? Squash yeah. the vote. Okay. Okay. Squash so we're at May, May 2nd, 2018. Work session. I make that motion to approve the May 2nd, 2018 work session. Okay. A second stated. Is there any discussion? No. Yeah, call, well, one minute. Let me just make sure. Call for a vote. Ward one. Aye. Ward two. Aye. Ward three. Aye. Ward four. Aye. And the mayor votes aye. Okay, Mayor eight. May eighth. Is there a motion? C and A eight? No. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have to bring May eight back. Yeah, because I, I mean, yeah. even though it's we have not in the package. Okay. Yeah. Even though it was emailed to us, it just is not in our package to kind of make sure we're not missing anything. So yeah, let's bring that one back. Yeah, because I don't even because when I took my notes, I, I don't, don't have May eighth on here, so. I'm not yeah. sure you you viewed it. <laughs> yeah, right. Because I don't have it on here. Okay. So we'll bring May eight back. Uh, May 29th. We'll get back. <coughs> motion. I mean, yeah, the motion. I'll make that motion to approve the May 29th, 18 um, public hearing minutes, 2000, 2008. I said 18. 18. All right. Yeah. Is there a second? A second. Okay. Any discussion? No. Call for a vote. Ward one. Aye. Ward two. Aye. Ward three. Aye. Ward four. Aye. And the mayor votes aye. Okay. June fifth. I don't have that one either, and I don't have any notes on it either. Are here. I have June fifth here. Yes, you have June fifth uh, uh, general meeting. I have. Do you, do you have it, ladies? Mm -hmm. yeah. I don't have any notes. That's it. Is it? That is it. Um, yeah, I have seen it, so I, I just must have missed it, but I'm fine. Okay. Um, I'll call for a vote. Oh, no, do I'll, we have I'll a motion? motion. Oh, I'll, I'll make a motion, motion to approve June 5th, 2018 town meeting. Okay, is there a second? I'll second it. Um, any discussion? Okay, I'll call for a vote, Ward 1. Aye. Ward 2. Aye. Ward 3. Aye. Ward 4. Aye. And the mayor votes aye. Okay. And that was. There's another. June 10th. So that was June 10th, the work session. No, June 5th. No, now we're on the, the 10th. 10th. Oh, no, now we're on, on June 10th. 10th. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, so July 10th, work session. Mm -hmm. I'll make a motion to well, approve. It's, that's a work session? There's we did two a work of them. session, then we went into the town meeting right after. Okay, or so we actually did the town meeting first and then went into the work session. Okay, that's why it looks correct. Okay. Yes. So which one do you want to do together, first? The town meeting and then to do work session second? Okay, work session. Well, you want to do the work session first? Um, it doesn't matter. The work which, session whoever wants to make the, the town meeting anyway. Sure. The, the, the town meeting was first, and then we had the work session afterwards. So if you want to do it in order, we'll do the town meeting. Okay. So town meeting, July 10th, is in our motion to approve? I'll make that motion to approve um, July 10th, 2018 town meeting. Is there a second? I'll second. Okay, um, discussion? Okay, I had a question about who had made the what? I'm trying to look at my notes right now. I had a question about a motion. Um, nope, I said that the general session is okay. So I don't have any discussion. I'll call for a vote. Ward one? Aye. Ward two? Aye. Well, no one seconded. 
Yeah, oh. did. Miss Bowden did. Okay. Yeah. Ward three. Aye. Ward four. Aye. And the mayor votes aye. Aye, yes. Okay. Okay, so now we're on the mayor. July 10th work session. July 10th work session. Motion? I'll make a motion to approve July 10th work session. Okay, and the uh, um, second? I'll second. Okay, any discussion? Okay, so um, just this, it's minor, I think, um, so we can just amend the motion, but call to order is just by uh, Council Member Vivian Jackson at 8.30 and there's nothing else. So there's no calling this meeting to order here. And um, if that can be checked and include, what was the actual? Like who's, who seconded? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, um, is there a, will the um, motioner accept a friendly amendment? Right. To with, uh -huh. that we amend it. Uh -huh. We can move forward with the correction uh -huh. to who was the second, second on motion. that one. And also, Jackson, that was your bicycle plate rack that you were talking about. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, um, I call for vote. Ward one. Aye. Ward two. Aye. Ward three. Aye. Ward four. Aye. And the mayor votes aye. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> So we're down September the 4th, 2018 is the motion to um, approve the minutes. I don't have it in my you don't package. Have it. You don't have it. That's it. So we got to bring it back. That's all of them. Well, we, well they were in because I have notes on them, so that means they were in the, our email. Yeah, they were not in our email. I have notes. They're not, they're, I don't have them in front of But they're not here tonight. So just wait next month. Okay, if we're gonna make them next month, I'll go ahead and make my comments so that then a ch any, a, the change can be made before we actually see them again. I was okay with September the 11th, but September the 4th, um, we have an ordinance listed by its number, but it doesn't say what the ordinance is for. So, is that correct? Yes, if we can get that corrected when it's bought back since it's not in the packets right now. Okay, and hopefully we will stay forward now with uh, minutes for each month, each month. Mm -hmm. um, and I do want to, I know there was a lot of confusion and a lot of situations went on back and forth with the staff, but I want to contend, I want to commend everybody for working <coughs> together, pulling them together and working on the process so that when we move forward, we can do it on a regular basis. I'd also like to ask if the minutes can be put on the website um, <coughs> from this point and going forward and um, to, to keep our website updated with our minutes. Okay, so unfinished business. Um, we have ordinance 3-2-2018, the parking permit. Um, I could not find it in my email. Um, it is in the packet, um, and um, I'm just going to note quickly that I don't, on this particular what we have in the packet, it does not have the terms of the restrictions on it. So, I beg your pardon? It doesn't have the times of restriction of the day that would be for the parking permit. It's not on here. It, it, it's in the original ordinance, Mayor, and it's stricken out in, 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 in this. As I understood that um, we were going to do it for the full day. <clears throat> no, well, um, it's an overnight thing. So th there was the other one that came last month, which had just the time of the day on it. Mm -hmm. um, but then that one didn't amend the things that being amended in this. So um, we've got time, but we really need to get it done next month um, to get it approved so that by the time we're putting the parking restriction permits up um, that we've, we've got this all fulfilled. Well, so. I would suggest in that case that uh, putting in a lesser time is a non-substantive amendment and therefore uh, under uh, Maryland uh, ordinance adoption rules and laws uh, and case law, 
um, this could be introduced today and that the hours when it was in effect or not in effect can be added to at a public hearing or at uh, um, adoption as an amendment. But if you get it introduced today, that will start the cycle um, to adopt the legislation this month. So my challenge I have with it, and I, I understand what you're saying, um, is that because right now we have folks out getting their parking permits mm -hmm. and the very substantive, in my mind, part of this ordinance is the limit time limits it will be for the times of the day. And so in an introduction, if anyone's reviewing this, we'll be challenged on that not being in here in its introduction. You it's are you are correct, but if you amend it to have fewer hours of restriction mm -hmm. instead of the 24 that this puts in by not mentioning it, then you will have made a non-substantive amendment because it's less uh, imposing, mm -hmm. it's less aggressive, it's less, uh, less of an enforcement if it's for 20 hours a day or if it's for two hours a day and therefore you can amend it without it being termed a substantive amendment. I, I, I get it and I accept what you're saying, I understand it. My concern is just the presence of the introduction without the times of the day on it and how what kinds of question marks, what kind of uh, yeah. experience we might have by that happening. Oh, I can't judge that. I can only advise you yeah. that if you want to introduce it today, you can. I hear you and you can hold the public hearing, and you can also uh, amend it to lessen the number of hours of restriction in the future. If that is not provident for the mayor and council, then I would suggest we not introduce it, but amend it and introduce it at the next general session in November. Yes. Um, council, any other thoughts? I, I feel the same way you felt, Mayor, I think we just Hold I, it and do it and yeah, have it the same way. And, and introduce the whole thing completely. Okay. All right. Um, Mr. Barr, thank you for that and thank you for the legal counsel. Um, just for community reasons, we'll wait. Okay. okay. All right. So, when, where is this going to? The next work session or? Well, yeah. we want to do a verification of the next work session, but the plan is to vote for it in November general session. So, in the work session and general session agendas at mm -hmm. this point? Yes, yes, sir. Thank you. And Mayor, what times did we want this one for? Well, you can look back on the notes. I don't know, did she yes, do that? The, the enforcement hours would not be applicable from 10 a.m. until 5 p.m. Would, would not, would be, not applicable. be applicable. From 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Okay, thank you so much. Um, no, we have, oh, new business. Um, so um, our next work session is scheduled for the same day as the election. And of course, this is an election site. So um, we will need to make a change on the meeting date, which should take a vote um, because of, it's something that has to be reported to the community. Um, my recommendation is the next day, which is the 7th. The Wednesday. The Wednesday. OK. You make a motion? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll make a motion to change our November work session to November the 7th due to the election date on November the 6th. Okay, is there a second? Our second motion is stated. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Abstentions? Okay, so our next work session will be on November the 7th. Next new item business is the resolution R3 2018. And this um, um, is the Port Towns MEA grant, which I mentioned we discussed at the work session. 
which allows us to participate in the grant program with the port towns only. Previously, it was with several other towns. Now it will just be Bladensburg, Cole Manor, Cottage City, and Edmonston, and Edmonston will be the administrator for the grant. We need to vote on this resolution so it can go into the grant package. Okay. Is there a motion? I make it motion to state it. Second. I'll second. I'll call for a vote. Ward I've one. A, I've got a. I'm sorry. Discussion. Discussion. Um, uh. On page two, it, should, it says, "Be it further resolved that Mayor Grant is hereby requested to endorse this resolution." I believe that should be Mayor Barrow. Okay. Oh. <coughs> well, actually, you got a different one. Yeah. Well, that says Gant, which Mayor is even Gant. wrong. <laughs> and then in the next, be it therefore resolved that instead of whatever TBAT okay. is a typo. typo. And mm -hmm. then under the signatures, Bowden is spelled wrong. Okay. Mm -hmm. So those corrections. Mm -hmm. So, so um, does the maker of the motion accept those corrections? Amend, yes. Amend. Uh -huh. Isn't that a second? I'll second. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, any other discussion? Okay. Call for a vote. Ward one. Aye. Ward two. Aye. Ward three. Aye. Ward four. Aye. And no votes. Aye. To move forward with that one. Okay. Um, so, um, because this needs to be signed, um, when do you? Because I won't be here tomorrow. Or the three of us won't be here. Yeah. Um, and tomorrow is the deadline. Um, this is when the grants do. Do you have right. it electronically so that you can make those minor corrections to uh, I will, us? I, I do not think that I do. Uh, do we have this in the... Um, um, Mayor, just 10 right the minute. But huh. they need to get the resolution to we can, Edmondson we, tomorrow. Okay, so if we handwrite them in tonight. I was going to say that. So we just handwrite in and mm -hmm. uh, initial. initial it, the correction. Mm -hmm. And then when we have one that's other. Then we would have it, and it could be faxed tomorrow, or hand carried tomorrow, or scanned an email tomorrow. I think hand delivered is a better way to do it. Okay. We'll do that then. With, we, with, with a copy and a receipt. Yeah. Who does, it goes to um, Edmiston. Edmiston. Let me see if we can. While we're signing those, we move on to committee reports. Do we have a senior report? Yes. Um, no, please. You messed that up. You signed for them. I'm supposed to sign. You're supposed to sign Just up. Sign there. under. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was confused which way. Well, I'm used to the name being above and then I signed below. Well, if you <laughs> was it signed the wrong place, can you pull your, you got a copy? She already Oh, yeah, so just mine. to get, yeah, use, oh, use copy one of your package? other ones, yeah, oh, okay. and I'll make the corrections on it. Yeah. Oh, I wrote them on, I wrote the changes on it. Yeah, well, that's well, fine. Well, that's what we want, we want the changes on it. Yeah, let me change her on this one. Okay. So, so just sign the one you She's have. got the pen. Okay. He just wanted to clean one. And both. Um, okay, so we don't have a senior report um, as this evening. Um, we want to mm -hmm. thank Mr. Mutchler for speaking at um, Chris McLean's funeral yesterday. It was very uh -huh. good to have him. Um, Garden Club report? Um, yes. Um, just want to say congratulations to all the Garden Club members in the community. Um, we won a beautification award for both gardens, and we were very, very proud of that win again this year. And thank you all for your hard work. Um, October the 20th, uh, we'll be working with Reverend Addison and the Port Town Youth Council cleaning up the community garden to get ready for fall. We're also looking for any volunteers that want to come out and help us that day. Thank you. Okay. The time, I'm sorry, the time will be, uh, we'll meet here at 9 o'clock and we'll end at noon, but we do have a lot of kids and parents that come out and help us 
um, clean up the gardens for the fall. Thank you. Okay, great. Is there a green team report? Um, yes, our green team, we will also be active that particular day, which is October the 20th, in Clean Up, Green Up. We'll be planning, and also we are looking for volunteers to come out and help clean up the county. This is a county-wide event, which is Clean Up, Green Up, um, and they're going to supply us with bags and gloves and stickies so we can clean up our community. We're really asking for the kids in the neighborhood that's from Bladensburg and Wernworth to come. Contact myself or any, any one of your council members who need volunteer hours for that day to clean up your community. Uh, we'll meet here at the town hall at 9 o'clock. Thank you. All right. Thank you for that. Appreciate that. Um, recreation report. Okay. We still have Zumba here every Monday and Wednesday at 7.15 and Saturdays at 9.30. And our Halloween party is going to be October the 27th from 5 to 8 p.m. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I want to also add that we're adding an event on October the 27th that will be for breast cancer awareness, which will be in um, held downstairs in the gym area. And um, we would love for everyone to come out. This is an important matter that is good for um, women's health. And there will be a lot of information and some other activities involved for you to learn. I don't have the time on it yet. So I would say um, check on Facebook and check on the website to see what time it is um, or on the television station to see when the time is going to be or just call the town hall and ask. And um, next one is PGCMA. Uh, nothing for right now. Okay. Um, aren't you. we sponsoring PGCMA? Um, is it no, next month? We're, we're, no, oh. no, we're sponsoring Prince George's elected women's in November, um, but that may be intensive because that is the first Saturday before the election and a lot of um, people want to go out and canvas that day, so it may change, Mayor. Okay. And with that being said, October the 16th is the last day for you all to register to vote. Yeah. Please go out and register. Please vote. This vote is very important for us in Maryland. We need to make sure that we win this um, November the 6th, so please go out. Please vote. It's very important that you vote. That's right. Very important that you vote. Um, I would like to um, ask for the Prince George's County elected women to be added as a, um, a regular um, comment on the um, agenda. You want a report from that? A Mom report. Mm -hmm. Yes. Our, our council women are in the executive committee, oh. and so they have a very significant role in, in the organization at this point, so it would be good that we can hear from them on what's happening. And your roles again? I am the vice president. Okay. And I'm the treasurer. All right. Those are real important roles. <laughs> <laughs> I thank you guys for your service. It's an important thing to do, bring it, helping women out. Um, get strengthened in the election area. Um, so we have any citizens' comments? No. Okay. We don't have any citizens' comments this evening. Anybody have any comments for the good of the order? Um, I just have one more thing. Um, October is Fire Safety Month. I just want to remind your residents to please check and make sure you have fire, fire um, smoke, smoke detectors in your homes on each floor. Also, if you have little children or adults, also just have a plan if something does occur so you know exactly if there's a fire, where you're going to meet, meet at with your family um, and put a plan in place. That's all I wanted to say, Mayor. Okay. That was it. Well, thank you all so much. Is there a motion for us to adjourn the meeting? I'll make that motion instead. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? This meeting is now adjourned. Thank you. Right. Thank you.